Milk is a great tool for monitoring your herd's health, production and fertility. Milk contains a lot of information about the nutritional and health status of a cow. The herd navigator itself is a tool which takes a sample of milk, analyses that milk for various components, so lactate dehydrogenase, which gives a clear indication of the, the level of other health within the cow, um, to identify in early stage the risk of infection from mastitis. We also measure beta hydroxybutyrate, so BHB is indicative of the, the risk for ketosis on that animal. In fact, it's, it's, it's the diagnostic tool for uh, ketosis clinically and subclinically. At each meal concession, we take a small sample and we test it for, for progesterone in the case of uh, reproductive mammalian, uh, which is really the gold standard for, for heat detection. So we can very clearly see uh, when a cow will come in here, if she then becomes pregnant, and, and also if she should unfortunately abort. Okay, we see a cow here with, in early lactation with, with alarms for BHB. So we, we know that this cow is ketotic. Um, we can tell that because of the alarm and the, the, high, the high risk level you see on the graph. Uh, the cow is treated with a, a drench of propylene glycol and following treatment you can quite quickly see the, the, the effect and the, and the level of risk for ketosis drops. Standard De Laval uh, alarm level is 60% of risk to develop uh, acetonomy. This is the milk yield level and this is the BHB level and this is the risk of developing acetonomy. At this risk level, 60% risk, they, they pop up on the alarm list. We have made our own list where they pop up with 25% risk and then we give them uh, this energy food with propylene glycol in, in pellets form with, uh, with the VMSs. This is the LDH screen where you also have the, the milk yield level, the LDH level and the risk of developing mastitis. When we get the alarm, uh, we start to milk the cow more often. Early intervention by increasing milking frequency or the use of, of other milk can, uh, can we find reduce the risk of that, that case turning into a clinical case of mastitis. It's important to, to visually inspect the cow and only really when you see clinical symptoms of mastitis would we recommend the use of antibiotics. You can see this cow is carved. We've started sampling progesterone and early lactation is a very, very weak heat. Uh, and it's we can consider it weak because the level of progesterone, which is this darker line, has, hasn't actually risen to significant levels uh, before the heat. Following that heat, we can consider that this cow is anestrous uh, because progesterone has remained low. And you see here the lighter blue line shows us a, a calculated risk for anestrous. And each of these these um, turquoise triangles is is the system releasing an alarm to inform the customer, inform the user that um, this cow is, is an estrus. See progesterone start to rise, um, possibly the result of, uh, of treatment, um, and as it falls again, uh, we see another red triangle indicating that there's a heat event, and we know that we can inseminate on this farm 36 to 48 hours after we see the alarm, and that's the insemination is, the, is indicated by the blue diamond. At this farm they have a, a lot of cows with really high capacity to, to milk. And we also like to have most efficient insemination rate in this farm. And we realise from experience that a high yielding cows has problems to get pregnant. And with her navigator you will find all heats.